Hello guys, in this movie I will do some tests of this uh, DM01 Moto from 27. I have it installed on the Nikolai frame. This bike is Enduro style. Uh, Nikolai is a not very well known producer from Germany, but their designs are really special. You can see them on their website. So not going too much into details about this bike, I'll just show you how the motor is installed. It's mid-drive. Here you can see the battery fit very nicely underneath this rear shock. I'm using the shift sensor as well to smooth out gear changing. And here is the cockpit. Okay, on the trail, my favorite one for testing of the bikes. Trail is quite difficult here, many steep hills to combat with. So it's actually perfect for testing with all these motors. On normal road, it's not that actually great. So you can just test basically the maximum speed but here way better all right so let's see what this motor has to offer it's pretty silent on the same level as Thompson motor so on the level one is really soft Engaging. And now it's like steeper hill. I'll crank it up a little bit. Level three. It's not sharp uh, jump key, I would say, but not very sharp engagements. That's a good thing. Let's go to level 5 now. Yeah. This is the maximum one. On level 5, the peak power I see you can reach up to 1500 watts. At the same time, it's really violent. This section is quite difficult, but the motor climbs really well. No hassle. I say you're level five too violent even. Decrease it to level three. It'll be easier. Okay. Okay. Ooh, fuck. As you can see, the terrain is quite undulating. But that's good. You can see how motor behaves in different conditions. So I went into this test menu to check how the parameters are changing. I doubt that you will see it very well. Now like you know, this controller page showing the current pulled by the motor. 15 amperes, but I'm on level 3 now. The problem is that if you, when you're on this test menu, you cannot change the power level. Oh, let's go farther. 
Not our speed. This top of temperature is interesting. The motor is not heated that up yet. So for like 33 Celsius degrees. Okay, the gate I need to open. Okay, so let's go through some different settings. This motor has walking assistance. So you just press this lower button and it goes up on its own. Like for many motors. Rotol is engaging immediately. Yeah, I can show you how it climbs. Remember, this is not a motorcycle, so not, don't expect you know, like blasting accelerations. But it pulls really nicely, as you can see uphill. Of course, you need to be on the right gear. The lower ones are preferred. Yeah. But it pulls really hard. Not bad. Gate to open. So let's do some comparisons with other motors because that's the most important and interesting part. Starting with BBS HD, <laughs> the difference is obvious. You know, this one comes with the torque sensor. And as you can see, I don't have to play with the power modes. Like in Bafang Moto. And that's a huge difference. For trail riding, you don't want to be bothered with changing you know, the power levels of the tank. And that's what confused me a lot with people uh, praising BBS HD, oh, how good it is. Yeah, yeah, it's strong, I agree. But then you need to fiddle with these buttons all the time. Piss me off. You know, to focus on trail riding, not the settings. Okay, and then going to Tonsheng. Tonsheng is much weaker. And this is the beast. Just compare the torque level. This one in max can deliver 116 kilometers and Tonshank only 80. It's like half. Okay. I'm on level 3, so it's like mild, I would say, but on level 5 it's really snappy. And last comparison, maybe with CYC motors. I have experience with Stealth and Pro for the time being. I haven't tried the photo. Well, I'm comparing this to Stealth. Stealth is perfect for trail riding. Pro, <laughs> it's just like a motorcycle motor. I can say like Stealth is more snappy than this one. But it also depends on which control you are riding that motor. I'll see your X6, but I will not delve into details about this in this movie. Down to section. As you can see, the terrain is quite difficult here. It's really nice to drive this motor here. 
Parkour and engagement for pass is very good. I'm lucky that the, it's quite dry, so there is no mud here in the forest. You can enjoy the ride with me for a while. To go now. Hmm. Let me summarize this motor. It's actually too early to say everything uh, about this motor. I need to still investigate a lot of stuff. But it's really nice. I really like it. Very good option for building an uh, electric mountain bike for trail riding. If you want to build a uh, motorcycle, then you need to go for CYC Pro. Because this one delivers maximum 1500 of us. But that's more than enough for trail riding. To be honest, you don't need more. And the torque is strong, 116 kilometers. No problems with climbing any hill. So it's like really good addition to the market selection. If you want something cheap, talk sensor, you will go for Tongsheng. This motor is like uh, Medium level, probably comparable to Photon. I need to test that one. And if you want to have like something best, probably Stealth, CYC Stealth is the way to go. It's like twice more expensive than this motor. And this one is 500 US dollars for the time being. It's a really good price. And really, there is nothing to complain on it. Snappy reactions. Good climbing power. It comes with the shift sensor. Oh. So it's cutting motor power just for brief of seconds helps uh, to keep the life of the motor you know. and here you can see the view over the rear wally showing we have this net here <laughs> there is nothing I can do about it so this is a really good motor I would say I really can, I really can recommend it to you